Create smooth subtitle animation using Kaden Live. I'll be showing you two subtitle animations that you can create, one being the pop-in animation and the other one being this jump-in subtitle animation. So the first thing I'll do, and this is optional, is go up to the menu bar inside of settings down to configure Kaden Live and down in the default durations, we have title clips and by default, this will be set to five seconds. Now you can change this to a lower value. In my case, I have mine set to 20 and this is 20 frames. When you're done, click on apply and then OK. The next thing I'll do is create a folder inside of the project bin and I'll name this subtitles. This will help us keep things organized later on. And finally, I'll create a new track on the timeline and I'll name this subtitle as well. This is also for organization. Now we can create our first title clip. So I'll go to the drop down and add title clip. Left click to create your text and I'll write the first word of my audio, which is create. So change the font of your text accordingly, change the size. You can adjust the color. You can even choose a gradient. I have a gradient over here. Click the pencil to create new gradients. You can add outlines by changing the value of these numbers here. You can also choose a color for your outlines. Then we can add a drop shadow to add a bit of depth, control the blur in the offset or position of your drop shadow. And then finally, this last step is very important and that is to align your text center. This will be very useful later on. Now we can simply align our text to the center of the canvas and then create title. The next thing to do is to duplicate our title clip. You can do this by right clicking on it and go up to duplicate clip. I myself created a keyboard shortcut for this and you can do so by going to settings down to configure keyboard shortcuts. Simply search for duplicate and add your custom keyboard shortcut then press OK. So I'll start duplicating this clip. If you know exactly the amount of copies that you need, you can go ahead and be precise. But in my case, I'll simply create a lot of copies. Finally, I'll select all of the title clips. So I'll click the first one, hold shift, click the last one, and I'll drag it onto the timeline onto the subtitle track. Then to modify the content of the title clip, you can double click on it and then simply change the word. So my second word is smooth and then click on update title clip. You might notice the title clip that we just modified changed to the word smooth inside of the project bin. And also it moved at the bottom of the stack. You can modify the order of the titles by going to this hamburger menu, go to sort by and choose insert order. Now the clips will be in order of creation and simply you can click on the third one or change it. In my case, it'll be subtitle update title. And then you can see that we have create smooth subtitle. So if I delete the title clips on the timeline, drag these in, you can see that the title clips are named accordingly. Now this step is only if you want to avoid the confusion of having the title clips mislabeled. In my case, I'll grab all of them and drag them onto the timeline. Now the next thing to do is simply to cut the title clips to match the audio. In other words, make the subtitles match what is being said. After that, change the content of the title clips. So double click on them and change the word and update title. And finally, we now have our subtitles matching what is being said inside of the audio. Now for the animation part, let's go ahead and add a transform effect to the first title clip. Move four frames forward inside of the transform, add a keyframe, then move three frames forward and add another keyframe. On the first keyframe, I'll change the scale to 90%. On the second keyframe, I'll change the scale to be 120%. And finally, on the third keyframe, I'll change the scale to be 110%. Now this gives us this little pop-in animation. I'll turn on the timeline preview for smooth playback. All right, now to copy the animation to our other title clips. With the first title clip selected, press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy. And then hold down shift and select all of the other title clips, right click and paste effect. We have now pasted the pop in animation to all of our title clips. Finally, to address the fact that our subtitles are in the middle of the composition, we can add a transform effect to the track itself. With this transform effect, you can control the position of the subtitle. So you can move it up, down, left, right, however you see fit. And you can also change the size of the subtitles. Now we're left with these custom subtitles with the pop animation. Finally, you can save this animation as a preset inside of the transform by clicking on the little icon next to the eye and save preset, call it whatever you want. Let's say pop animation one and then click on OK. And now you'll have your preset inside of this list. As you can see, I already have a couple presets. Now to move on to the second animation. So I'll select all of the clips, right click and I'll delete effects. 
with the first clip selected, I'll add a transform again. And now this one really depends on the length of your title clips. So I'll go ahead and move around the center of the title clip. I'll add another keyframe. I'll move one frame forwards, add another keyframe, and then go to the end of the title clip and add one last keyframe. So we can better see what we're doing, I'll disable the transform effect on the subtitle track. Now with the first clip selected, on the first keyframe, I can change the Y position to 600. This will move it out of frame. Then I'll jump to the last keyframe and I'll do the same. Now if I scrub through this, you can see that our text jumps in and out of frame. Next, let's go ahead and click on this little curve icon here on the right inside of the transform and switch over to Y position. We can now see the graph of our animation and it's quite linear. To change this, jump to the first keyframe, click on this little slope icon here to change the interpolation and you can go with cubic out or exponential out. Next, we'll jump to the third keyframe and we'll change the interpolation to cubic in. We now have this smooth curve animation for our text jumping in and out of frame. You can choose exponential in and out. Now, if you want to save this animation as a preset, I've noticed a bug where when you apply the preset, the first keyframe reverts back to linear. To prevent this, you can left click on the first keyframe, copy, then move one frame forward and paste that keyframe. And make sure to change the interpolation back to cubic out, exponential out, whichever one you chose. And now it's safe to save the preset. All right, all that's left to do is to copy this preset to all of our other clips. So with the first clip selected, press Ctrl C to copy, then hold down Shift, select all of the other clips, and right click to paste effect. We now have this jump in animation for all of our title clips. Finally, we can simulate a motion blur for our animation. Inside of the effects, let's look for a D blur or directional blur. Change the angle to 90 degrees, and you can increase the radius to 15 or 20. The higher the value, the stronger the blur. Finally, add keyframes that match the keyframes of the transform. You don't have to add two keyframes in the middle though. Simply make sure that the radius for the middle keyframe is set to zero. Now we can open the little curves menu, go to radius, and it's linear. We can change this by jumping to the first keyframe, change the interpolation to cubic out, and change the second keyframe to cubic in. We now have a smooth curve for the blur as well. So it starts blurry, becomes clear, and then blurs on the way out. Now, if you're going to save this as a preset as well, repeat the same step, copy the first keyframe, move one frame forward, paste it, change the interpolation, and then it's safe to save the preset. I would recommend naming it the same as the transform preset. That way you know what goes together. Now we can select all of our clips, including the first one, left click on the first one to make it the active one, and then drag the D blur to everything else, and make sure to delete the duplicated directional blur on the first clip. And now we have our subtitle animation with motion blur. Now keep in mind that the directional blur will make things heavier and thus slower. And click on this video here to learn how to create smooth transitions inside of Kaden Live. Thanks for watching.